Hello, I'm Ronan Chris Murphy from Recording Bootcamp, and I want to do a quick review of a new product that's actually a lot cooler than I thought it would be just going into it. And I'm talking about the Apogee Groove. So we're going to take a quick look at the Apogee Groove. And what the Apogee Groove is, this tiny little thing, about the size of a pack of gum. Uh, it is a high-end digital to analog converter uh, and headphone amplifier. So it's really just that thing and this tiny cable. So the first question is obviously why would you need this? Because here on your laptop we've already got a headphone output and uh, you know it works. I use it all the time listening to music while I catch up on emails and things like that. Well the downside to this headphone output is really it doesn't sound that good. It gets the job done and doesn't stop me from enjoying my favorite records, but really it doesn't sound good. So what we can do now is farm off those duties to something else from uh, Apogee, a company very well known for making really, really good sounding converters. So it hooks up really easy, especially if you're on a Apple. Uh, or Macintosh. Um, you can do this as well on a PC, I think, but I think you need a driver. But check this out. Let's look over on my computer and let's take a look at my options for output. So I'm actually using the option key and clicking on that speaker. And notice we've got the option for internal speakers and these are just different outputs for uh, me running Pro Tools on the laptop. But now we're going to plug this in plug in the USB cable, plug this into the computer, we see it light up, and uh, now let's go do that same thing again. We'll notice not only has it shown up, but it's automatically switched over to the groove. So it does this instantly, plug and play, you don't have to install any kind of drivers or anything like that. So how does this sound? Well, it sounds awesome. Actually, I'm extremely impressed using this for its given application, which is to drive headphones. And um, I got together myself, Diego Lopez, who works here at Veneto West Studio with me, and also my friend John Rod, who's a really prestigious high-end guy for, you know, recording and mixing big film scores and big video game scores. And we all got together, did a lot of listening, trading back headphones. We used everything from like $45 headphones to $1,600 headphones and in every case across the board the improvement switching over to the groove was very significant. Not, oh I think we hear a small difference, but very significant. So improvement in detail, clarity, separation with all those things improved. And for me, and the thing I always focus on when testing gear, especially monitoring, is mid-range detail and clarity because I do so much a lot of rock and roll and pop which has so much stuff crammed in vocals guitars drums into that mid-range I need all the clarity I can get so I can make good decisions about processing balancing mixing and things like that so uh, for me that was the one that I kept coming back to and in every case at every headphone price point there was a significant improvement that I think anybody tuned into uh, really just listening to music would get. And there's a lot of things when we compare gear, compare plugins and things like that, that you know you have to really be in, be a professional to really start to understand the nuances. But anybody who really is into music and sound and things like that would hear this difference. And, uh, and that's pretty, pretty cool. So the reason I care so much about this, this little thing that looks like a little prosumer thing, is, you know, yeah, it's fun to listen to my favorite records and have them sound better, but I'm interested in the professional aspect of this, the music making aspects of this. And anybody who's, you know, follows my videos, uh, which, by the way, you can subscribe right there and uh, get turned on to all the videos we're doing with gear reviews and uh, recording techniques and behind the scenes and all that good stuff. But, um, I do a lot of work around the world. I'm, I'm on airplanes a lot, working in Europe, working in Asia, Canada, Mexico. And so a lot of times we're going into big, nice studios, but a lot of times we're actually just out on the streets recording and 
also with somebody like me who's constantly juggling so many projects, there's a lot of you know pulling things up for approval, for revisions, you know, sometimes on an airplane at 30,000 feet. So for literally, let's check this out, literally something that can fit into my shirt pocket, I have actually extremely good detailed headphone monitoring. So now, <laughs> sitting in airports, sitting on airplanes, riding trains through Italy, all of these places, if I've got my laptop, are now places I can actually really get good work done. And that to me is very, very valuable. Again, I've been doing this remote thing a bunch for quite a few years, but usually I either have to go into a studio or I bring this Apogee Duet 2, which is extremely good, but also extremely a whole bunch bigger than this. <laughs> Does not fit in shirts, so all of a sudden, and a you know, big fragile thing, so I end up additional packaging to keep it safe and another slot in the bag. I really have to make an effort to start bringing professional gear along. Where's the groove? I literally, I can throw it in my shirt pocket with the laptop and uh, anytime I've got some minutes to work on some stuff or I get uh, an email from a client that says, hey, can you check this revision or something like that? I can pull it up, put on headphones, which uh, again, I'm a big fanboy of these Shure 840s. It's the ones I tend to bring around the world for me. But I'm up and running and uh, doing good work and even for the business, I'm up and doing billable work that helps grow my business. So that's it. I'm sure there'll be different places you'll be able to check these out and you can determine for yourself. But myself and a couple of my peers, we found this to really kind of be a home run. The only downside to it is I think they're going to be about 300 bucks. Uh, this is actually just a loaner from a good friend, so I haven't bought my own yet. And uh, he's insisting he get it back by tomorrow night. So um, yeah, it's really cool, but it is 300 bucks. So, you know, somebody balancing like, oh, do I buy a new microphone or things like that, or upgrade my guitar in the home studio. These are dilemmas you got to do. But if you've got the extra cash laying around, 300 bucks can make a big improvement in what you're hearing when you're either working off your laptop or just chilling back in your iTunes library, uh, listening to your favorite records. So I hope that helps a little. And of course, try this out. Trust your own ears instead of mine. And uh, yeah, have fun with all this stuff. And most important, stay focused on the music. See ya.